this whole breakfast is the most important meal of the day concept come from? The father of public relations, Edward Bernays, infamous for his Torches of Freedom campaign to get women to start smoking back in the 1920s, was paid by a bacon company to popularize the emblematic bacon and eggs breakfast. The role of public relations, he wrote in his book entitled Propaganda, is the, quote, conscious and intelligent manipulation of the organized habits and opinions of the masses, unquote. Public relations specialists uh, thereby constitute an invisible government, the true ruling power of our country. Breakfast is big business. Powerful corporate interests, uh, such as the you know, breakfast cereal lobby, are blamed for perpetuating myths about the importance of breakfast. Uh, this editorial in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition urged nutrition scientists to speak truth to power and challenge conventional wisdom when necessary, even when it looks like we're taking away motherhood and apple pie. Actually, the editorial concludes reducing the portion size of apple pie might not be a bad idea either. So should we break the feast and skip breakfast to lose weight? Uh, though advice to eliminate breakfast will surely pit nutrition scientists against the very strong and powerful food industry, skipping breakfast has been described as a straightforward and feasible strategy to reduce daily calorie intake. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to work. Most randomized controlled studies of breakfast skipping found no weight loss benefit to omitting breakfast. How is it possible if skipping breakfast means skipping calories. Right? The Bath Breakfast Project, a famous series of experiments run not out of the tub, but the University of Bath in the UK, discovered a key to the mystery. Men and women randomized to either eat breakfast, uh, defined as uh, taking in at least 700 calories before 11 a.m., or fast until noon every day. As in similar trials, the breakfast eating group ate a little less throughout the rest of the day, but you know, still ended up with hundreds of excess daily calories over the breakfast skippers. Uh, those who ate breakfast consumed more than 500 calories a day more. I mean, over six weeks, that would add up to over 20,000 extra calories. Yet, after six weeks, both groups ended up with the exact same change in body fat. Wait, how could tens of thousands of calories just effectively disappear? If more calories were going in, with no change in weight, there must have been more calories going out. And indeed, the breakfast group was found to spontaneously engage in more kind of light-intensity physical activity in the mornings than the breakfast-skipping group. Light-intensity activities include things like you know, casual walking, light house cleaning activities, not structured exercise per se, but apparently enough extra activity to use up the bulk of those excess breakfast calories. There's a popular misconception that our body goes into energy conservation mode when we skip breakfast by slowing our metabolic rate. That does not appear to be true. Uh, but maybe our body does intuitively uh, slow us down in other ways. When we skip breakfast, our body just doesn't seem to want to move around as much. The extra activity didn't completely make up for the added calories, though. Uh, we seem to uh, still be missing about 100 daily calories, uh, suggesting uh, there may be a, another factor to account for the mystery of the MIA morning calories. Recent breakthroughs in the field of chronobiology, the study of our body's natural rhythms, have unsettled an even more sacred cow of nutrition dogma, the concept that a calorie is a calorie. It's not just what we eat, but when we eat. Same number of calories, different weight loss depending on meal timing. Just to give you a taste, the exact same number of calories at breakfast are significantly less fattening than the same number of calories eaten at supper. What? I mean, that's just mind-blowing, right? A diet with a bigger breakfast causes more weight loss than the same diet with a bigger dinner. Uh, because of our circadian rhythms, morning calories don't appear to count as much as evening calories. So maybe breakfast should indeed be the most important meal of the day after all.